Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today's video is what's in my bag. Now, this is like my travel bag if I'm going away for a weekend or overnight or even longer. This is what I would take with me. It's not what I would have in my handbag as like my top up essentials. Um, so yeah, I do have a lot of stuff in this bag. Majority of it is lipsticks because um, I just buy lipsticks most and I enjoy lipsticks. Um, but this is a 100% true representation of what I would take away with me on holiday. This is basically my everyday makeup also. I'm gonna get into the video because um, this bag is literally just like bulging out. I dropped my Fix Plus the other day that was a bad move and I don't want to like bust the zip on my bag but it's just like poking out and I'm, I need to stand it up straight because I'm worried it's going to leak so um, yeah that's why it's going to look funny but this is my bag it's a Ted Baker bag I don't even know what you would call this there was nothing on the label when I got it but it's basically a Ted Baker bag it's got like rose gold around the zip um, like a brownie and rose gold bow and it's like baby pink so I'm gonna get straight into it I'll try and do it in some sort of order um, but I'm just gonna get the biggest things out first because this bag can actually fit quite a lot of stuff in but I'm just gonna get out like the biggest stuff first so I'm gonna start off with the Naked palette this is the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay I showed this in my previous video and this is, I'll just quickly show it, this is a really nice palette and um, there's lots of different variety with the shades it goes from like the pinks through to the golds and the browns and then dark colours and I just like variety with makeup like I like that I can feel if I want to wear something different like an outfit or a lipstick I have a lot of choice um, there's a lot of choice here which I really like and I like that there's a lot of variety and you can change it up. There's shimmer shades, there's matte shades. Um, yeah, I really like that. So it's my main eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow products I have is my MAC um, quad. This is one that you can make up at MAC yourself. So I've made this one up for myself. And now I've got to remember what's in there. But it looks like this. Let me just double check as I'm telling you because I don't want to be telling you the wrong shade. So I have in there Wedge, which is just like a matte sandy colour really. So that's Wedge, that's a really nice colour and the majority of the time I pair it with, I've just scratched it, no, brown down, my fingers are all messy now <laughs> and I've scratched it which I'm a bit sad about but that's alright and then, then I have All That Glitters which is a really really nice um, shimmer shade so I have two matte ones and two shimmer ones in my palette and then I'll leave the other one in because that's satin top which is that one but they all work really well together like I can mix too like if I just want matte or I can mix like brown down and different ones like I really like the palette that I came up with so I think that's it for eyeshadows that I have in there I'm gonna get my fix plus out the way um yeah always rave about fix plus see look I dropped it oh that's what's happened it's actually snapped damn but there's not a lot left in there Oh no, have I fixed it? No. <laughs> no. Um, there's not a lot left in there, um, so I'm not too upset about it, so I'll have to get a new one of those. I might get a travel size, actually, a Fix Plus. That might be a good shout. Okay, so, next. I'm sorry that this is in such a random order, but it's literally just what I'm finding. And I have number seven, Pencil Sharpener. It's just the cheap one I got with a... I think I got it with a voucher for, like, a pound or something. Eyelash curlers and tweezers. I have the Ren um, Lip Balm, this is really good, this is in my June favourites, I really like that, really really nice. Mascara, I have the Benefit Their Real Mascara, I only recently tried this, I bought it in June and this is like a cult classic, this is amazing, it's so good, um, it's £19, £19? I think it's £19, um, by Benefit, really really nice mascara and the packaging is really cool as well but yeah, really nice mascara for brows because I get so many questions on my eyebrows so to answer all the questions I spray fix plus into my number seven palette this is the eyebrow palette um I mentioned this in a previous video I got this at Christmas just before Christmas like at the beginning of December last year so I don't know if it was just like a Christmas gift set thing I don't know um so I don't know if they still have them but it basically comes, I'm not going to show you because it is a little bit gross, but um, it comes with four shades and I use the two darker shades. You can use any kind of eyeshadow as long as it is matte. So you could use brown down if that is your shade. So I just literally get 
a bit of Fix Plus, spray it onto a brush and dip it into the powder or whatever you would like to use and just go through my brows with that majority of the brow just to sort of get the majority of it out the way. Then for finer detail I use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. This, so it comes with a spoolie on the one end so you can brush for your brows. It comes with a kind of waxy pencil on the other side but it's really good shape like it is the shape for your brows whereas a lot of them tend to be like just round and then I just remembered which I completely forgot in the middle section here where it's brown if you twist it it pops open and it's a highlighter I completely forgot about that I literally just remembered as like, that's what I use for finer detail and then I just brush for everything really brush through the front of my brow to make it look more natural but obviously they're not natural Oh, foundation. I should have really said this first, but it was right at the bottom. So the two that I use, the one that I use every single day is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Foundation. This is in 12... My dog's barking. This is in 12 Beige Rose, which is the lightest colour Chanel do in this foundation. I love it. It is such good coverage, but it's not too heavy. You can really build it up, which I love. It, this foundation is pricey, but for me, I love it. And I like there to be a bit of choice just in case so my second foundation of choice would be the MAC Studio Fix Fluid this is in NW13 I've been matched so many times at MAC like before I was like really really into makeup like I had been matched with NW25 and I found there are how many shades there between NW25 is there NW23 I don't know but let's say there's four shades difference because there's NW13 there's NW15 there must be an NW20 something and there's an NW25 so I have been like four shades darker or even three shades darker and this is still a little bit orange on me but it's a really good coverage it's very thick I don't like it as much as the Chanel one because this gives me dry skin but I would definitely use this if I want it's a nice foundation um, but I just need to get a pump for it because I thought I had one but I can't find it anywhere Oh, back to eyes. I forgot I put these two in here. I have two of the Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo. One is in pomegranate, oh, metallic pomegranate. Um, and I'm wearing this today and I love it. Like, I love it. Um, these are amazing. These are dupes for the MAC paint pots. Obviously, there's not as many colours. There's probably like seven colours. Um, but they are incredible. They stay on all day and they blend really well. They last a really long time and the pigmentation of them is amazing. Um, and then I have this one, which is, I don't know why I'm looking there because it's here. This is on and on bronze. Um, I've used that a lot, as you can see, but um, I love them. They're kind of like a gel, but a cream, if that makes sense. They're really creamy, but they are definitely a gel. They're not expensive either. They're like five pounds something. Next bronzer so i use benefit hula bronzer um i love this i mentioned this in my makeup must have video which is last week's video my everyday bronzer and contour for myself concealers next normally i would go for the collection last perfection concealer this is in fair number one the lightest one that they do i would always 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 wear this but i'm just running out and i'm worried that um i will forget to get some more so i also have the wake me up concealer they really like both of them i prefer this one i find that it's more creamy um but this one's nice but it's just a bit thicker um which i don't like as much so i need to repurchase one of these so remember grace concealer eyeliner recently i just haven't been wearing eyeliner like today i'm not wearing any um i don't know if it's just like a lazy thing but i just i just haven't worn any for a while um but i like to take one with me just in case of an evening obviously i like to wear eyeliner then um so this is the l'oreal super liner ultra precision eyeliner in black it's just like a liquid liner the standard stuff really um, that's not too expensive either I got this a while ago I got this in April the end of April actually I got it on the 1st of May that was the date I got it um, sad that I even know that but yeah um, this is a really good one I really like it it's really black so it's like it doesn't kind of go grain you have to keep applying the black to get it darker it is just pure black which I love and it's really easy to apply as well so if you are a beginner with liquid eyeliners I would say give this one a go or L'Oreal do another one which is in black packaging that's the ultra liner definer I think ultra liner definer something like that okay hey, blushes um I don't really have a lot of blushes actually but I need to get some more so I have the sleek blush in pixie pink it's number 936 this is like a bright 
pink but I only use a little bit of this I like this in the evening if I've got like a full face of makeup like lashes and liner and smoky eye like then I will use this um, but otherwise I'm really liking the MAC well dressed satin finish powder blush um, this is just a lot milder basically but it's a really nice pink kind of matches with my nail varnish a bit um, yeah it's just a really nice standard bog standard pink and you can build it up as well it's just really natural and pretty which i really really like and highlighters i have the number seven skin illuminating radiance boosting beauty fluid <laughs> that's a mouthful um i really like this i spoke about this in my makeup must have so if you want to know more about it then you can watch that um i'm nearly out of it so i am going to get the full size because the full size is only 11 pound and it's like a big big thing so I'm going to get that when I'm next in a boots. And my other alternative is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is £18.50 so it is pricier and the things they get everywhere. Um, this is a really nice one, I'm wearing it today and yeah it's just really nice. Soft and Gentle is exactly what it says, it's soft and gentle. Products. So I only really have one lip liner that I'm like obsessed with at the moment. You can see how short it is. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. Now this is incredible like i love the color of it it goes with so many lipsticks that i love at the moment and it is kind of pricey i guess for a lip liner it's 16 pound and i love it like i will constantly repurchase this it looks amazing on its own if you just like line your lips or resize them reshape them whatever you would like then fill them in it looks really nice with like any lipstick over the top obviously it has to be pink but even like i've used syrup over it as well i used syrup over it um yesterday actually and it looks amazing in syrup if you don't know syrup by mac sorry um it just looks so good and syrup is kind of like a actually i might have it in here to show you so i'll i'll show you here i've got it in the bag um but it is just such a nice nice lip liner and i love it and it's really matte obviously um but i love that so that's the lip liner that i would use otherwise i'm not really bothered about lip liner but lipsticks i have a lot i'm gonna start off with mac because there's more of the mac ones in my bag so I'll start off with MAC. So I'll start off with syrup actually, seeing as that's one of the first ones I grabbed. This is syrup. It's a really nice pinky purple colour. Um, looks amazing. I love it. It's a really nice everyday colour. It is really, really nice. And it is a lustre finish, which is one of my favourite finishes. I don't Next is creme cup, which is a cream machine finish. This is just like your basic nude really. Um, I have Angel as well, but um i've been using this a lot recently and i like to have a nude so i know that if on a day where i'm feeling like if maybe i have a heavy eye or if i don't want to wear a lot of makeup then this just goes really nice with everything so that's a really nice nude if anyone's looking for one next is velvet teddy and it looks so different on than it does in the bullet form on it's a really dark almost burnt orange uh, but on here i think it looks really orange I don't know what it looks like on camera but I think it just doesn't really have like a true comparison I would probably walk past that in the shop but I saw swatches everywhere um, and I was just like yep yeah, getting it just don't know if it's gonna suit me but I'm getting it um, so yeah that's a matte finish and I love that that's for more like an evening if you're going out dressing up um, that's really nice but I suppose in the day as well whatever you would like the MAC one I have is faux I told you there was like a lot of lipsticks in here but it's the thing that I tend to change up most um, so yeah, so next is faux, I'm wearing it now. Um, I love this, I got this the other day and I love it. It's a satin finish and it's just a really nice and it goes really, really nice with Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so this is like my current favourite. I've got more lipsticks, it's ridiculous. Sticking on to the same thing as faux, I have this which is the, oh I've scratched it. This is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture Lipstick. 10 which is true beige i don't know if they're that different let me just compare so this is true beige and this is faux i mean they're not too dissimilar but they are but the, they're the tiniest tiniest shade different i love this i used to wear this all the time this is probably what faux is going to turn into but yeah i wore it every single day then i just sort of went on to other lipsticks and completely forgot about it and yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful lipstick so that is kind of like when I just want a similar colour to faux but a little bit different <laughs> another lipstick is my Tom Ford one this is the colour Spanish pink the colour colour 
This is a really, really light pink. Obviously the pack packaging is beautiful. These are pricey. This is more expensive than the Chanel foundation. This is pricey. I think they're 37 pound but I love it. I love that shade. It's a really neutrally nude. Uh, it makes you feel like put together. That's what I think lipsticks make you feel like. Complete. They make me feel complete. They make my makeup feel complete, not me. Next one is the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. And again, that is a matte and that is £23. And that is everything that is in my makeup travel bag. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to. And I've got an itch. Leave any questions in the comment section below. And I'll see you next week for another video.